they don't mind that I brought my breakfast up here. Come with on, me. Oh, oh. I think maybe I better put this away. <laughs> hey, Tim. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. Just put your thermos away there? Or what? Yeah, I'll just store my, uh, my breakfast in here. My breakfast <laughs> this morning is liquid nitrogen. There we go. All right, so what, what do we have here? Uh, this is a medical machine we designed around Compact Rio to cryogenically freeze benign breast tumors. It's estimated that 40% of the women in the United States will be, uh, will be diagnosed with benign breast disease at some point in their life. The most common form of this is the fibroadenoma, which can reach four centimeters in size, and cause considerable pain and anxiety. So before this machine, what, what options were available? Now, Tim, up to about five years ago, really the only option available for treating fibroadenomas was surgery. Surgery today is still the most common treatment method, but surgery has a number of disadvantages. Uh, surgery requires multiple pre- and post-operative doctor visits. It requires use of general anesthetic. It has to be done in a hospital operating room. Patients typically take two to three days to recover, and surgery always leaves visible scar tissue. The Sonaris Visica II treatment system is a new alternative to surgery. This procedure can be done right in the doctor's office. This procedure can be done the same day of tumor diagnosis. In fact, if the patient wanted to, they could go back to work the afternoon after surgery, although I, don't, I really don't know why anybody would want to do that. <laughs> Let me show you how it works. Tim, how long do you think it takes to make an ice cube in your freezer? Uh, I don't know, maybe a few hours, maybe overnight. You know. well, this machine is somewhat faster than that. <laughs> First thing I need to do is uh, tell it how big of a tumor I want to treat this morning. I think we're going to go with a three centimeter tumor. And I'll just push the start button and get this machine going. Now, this procedure begins with the, op with the doctor making a small nick in the patient's skin. Then the probe is advanced through that nick into towards the lesion using ultrasound visualization. Once the, uh, once the doctor has the probe placed exactly where they want it using ultrasound, an associate will press the start button as I just did a few seconds ago. That causes this machine to step through a four state algorithm which grows an ice ball around the probe tip and engulfs the tumor, thereby killing it. Now, we looked around this morning, but we couldn't find any volunteer to come up here this morning <laughs> for me to demonstrate the procedure. So instead, uh, I'm just growing an ice ball in, the, in this little beaker of water to show you how the machine works. And uh, it seems to be coming along nicely. Now, the, the real procedure takes about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the lesion size. OK, and so how did LabVIEW and Compact Rio help you build this design faster? Well, Tim, at Sonaris, we are experts in cryoablation, but unfortunately, we really didn't have very much embedded design experience. And we needed a fully functional prototype just a few months before the project began. And then we needed to roll out a high-performance, reliable production solution that didn't require any custom hardware design. I looked at all the alternatives available and decided to select Compact Rio to be the embedded brain that runs this machine. Compact Rio controls the flow of cryogen out to the probe, which in turn controls the rate of ice ball formation. Compact Rio also controls a small heater that's in the probe tip that is used to release the probe from the ice ball once it has completely engulfed the lesion. Using LabVIEW and Compact Rio, our very small four-person design team was able to design and code the controller as well as this LabVIEW user interface completely in-house. LabVIEW and Compact Rio also enabled us to get our prototype developed and functional ahead of schedule, and we've deployed 12 machines so far, working correctly, all 12 of them, uh, meeting a very, very aggressive deployment schedule. Our CEO came up to me and said, selecting Compact Rio was a key factor in the success of the Visica 2 project. Wow, wow. that's. Uh... That's an incredible example of a machine that Compact Rio and LabVIEW were ideally suited for. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, Tim? Tim? Yeah. Well, Compact Rio was absolutely crucial in enabling us to meet our time to market needs. But now that we're ramping up production, 
the operations VP is really honest to cut costs. Oh. <laughs> Tommy, is there anything yeah. you can do about that? Well, this would seem like a great time to tell them about some of the things we're working on to lower deployment costs. Yeah, it would be yeah, a good time. Yeah, well, don't do you that. think this is it? Okay. Well, currently at NI, we're working on a new family of single board Rio products, specifically targeting high volume applications, such as Jeff's right here. We're designing these new Rio systems with the real time processor, FPGA chip, and C series IO all integrated on the same printed circuit board, or PCB, instead of multiple PCBs. And this allows us to lower the cost of these systems for high volume applications. And so, since it has the same Rio architecture, does that mean that Jeff isn't going to have to change any of his code to switch over to this? Exactly. Jeff can reuse his exact same code from his existing system and seamlessly migrate to these future Rio products. How does that sound, Jeff? That sounds really good, but let's get back to cost. What, what kind of cost reduction are we talking about here? <laughs> I, I thought you might ask that. Um, yeah, when you're deploying in high volumes, you're going to see an almost 50% price reduction in these systems. 50%? I think that's a cost reduction my operations VP can handle. Well, <laughs> additionally to that, Jeff, that's what we're, we're working on in the future. Currently, NI is partnering with contract manufacturer Flextronics to create, to cre to create a low-cost, custom, integrated solution for extremely high-volume machines and devices. I hold in my hand a custom circuit board built by Flextronics that has our processor, FPGA chip, and C-series I.O. circuitry all built into the same board. Oh. And of course, because it uses the same Rio architecture, this will run all the same software, right? Well, um, no, Tim. Ah, I'm just fooling no. with you. <laughs> I wouldn't God, I hate when they do that. that. Yeah, this is the same Rio architecture. So engineers like Jeff can design and prototype on PXI, PCs, or Compact Rio, and if they need to deploy in high volume, they have a variety of price-optimized options. So now what do you think, Jeff? Well, Tim, first and I provided an awesome solution for my time-to-market problem. Now it sounds like you've solved my cost-of-goods problem. You guys are making this machine designer look like a hero. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Great job. Great job. Thanks, Tom.